Good evening and welcome to this special presentation. So, how does India Inc. look at the future post the pandemic? What really is the situation as far as business confidence is concerned? Remember, we are in any case in a, in a state of a slowdown and then the lockdown and then, you know, the rest everybody knows. So now there is a conclusive study that has been done by FIKI, by industry body. And what do they conclude? Let's find out. So business confidence index, according to FIKI, is actually improving. They say that overall business confidence index is uh, at a decade high of 74.2, which is a very, very good thing, according to FIKI. Economy is coming out from the contraction phase which is again a positive sign, which means that uh, there is something to look forward to. Progress on vaccination, budget, adding to the corporate confidence. And particularly this word, this is going to be an extremely important word because you speak to any industry titan and they would say that vaccination holds the key. And now that the vaccination, the pace of the vaccination has been increased, this is definitely a great positive sign. Outlook for employment, exports and investments show improvement. So that, according to Fiki, is a positive sign. Now, what's looking, uh, the operational parameters uh, as they're improving, what exactly is that? So employment, according to Fiki, 35% report better hiring prospects, which is up 15% points. Uh, as far as exports are concerned, 41% respondents, this is a survey that Fiki has done, uh, it's called the FIKI Business Confidence Survey uh, on February 2021. The period taken is January to June 21. Uh, exports, 41% respondents indicated higher outbound shipments. Investments, 31% uh, expect higher investment, which is up 121 percentage points. Capacity utilization, 77% companies report capacity utilization of over 50%. So uh, we let this play on the screen. Uh, as these are the findings of the study of FIKI. And I would like to introduce uh, some members now who would be able to throw more light on, on, on this report. I have with us, I would like to welcome uh, Mr. Uday Shankar. He's the president of FIKI with us. Thank you very much, Mr. Shankar, for joining us once again. Uh, we have uh, Shulaja uh, Firodia, founder and CEO of Kinetic Green Energy and Power Solutions Limited, also chairman of the FIKI Maharashtra State Council. Uh, Dr. Sangeeta Reddy, immediate past president of FIKI and joint MD of Apollo Hospitals Group. And Mani Sharma, president and CEO of Panasonic India and South Asia, and executive officer Panasonic Corporation. And is also the chair for FIKI Electronics and White Goods Committee. Thank you very much to all of you all. We call this or we look at this as an extremely important discussion. Mr. Uday Shankar, let's begin with you. Uh, the findings of this survey, do, does this survey largely reflect the mood of uh, you know, positive things to come in the future. Thank you very much, Sanket. Thank you for having us and my colleagues here on the show. Uh, I think uh, the survey very comprehensively reflects the mood of the business community and is an indicator of things to come. You know, it, it, as, as the title says, it's a business confidence survey. And I think in the world of business where people have to invest money and whether people have to take... Uh, you know, decisions and some of those decisions can be risky. The confidence factor is a very, very important one. And the fact that the confidence factor is so high, as you said, it's at, it stands at 74.2%. It's at a decade's high. The significance is that the last time the confidence was somewhere at this level was when Prime Minister Modi uh, came to form the government back in 2014. So after that, it's never been so high. So clearly you've seen that, you know, it suggests that Things have been going up and down since then, and they hit rock bottom during the COVID pandemic and the lockdown and the economic disruption that happened. But now there is clearly a buoyant mood, and some of the decisions that the government has taken, whether in terms of liberalization, whether in terms of the, the, the offers in the budget, the business community is positive, and there are uh, positive vibes coming from the business and the way demand has picked up. Okay, now that has kick-started and uh, the world is appreciating, though there was initial criticism as to uh, whether we could have expedited this process or not, but it has started, right? And it's pretty much on track. How big a boost is this going to be for confidence building? So, Sankit, clearly uh, the speed 
of which we continue our vaccination drive is directly proportionate to the pace of the recovery of the economy. But the fact is that India has already given some very strong global messages, uh, you know, with the fact that 5.7 crore vaccines have gone to almost 64 countries. This is, you know, diplomacy at its best, it's humanity at its best. And parallelly, you see in the last, I think, 52 days since we started the vaccine, uh, we've currently, the country has vaccinated over 2.3 crore people. But the highlight is that now the pace of uptick, like yesterday, the number was 20 lakh. Last week, it was at 14 lakhs per day. Yesterday was 20 lakh. So if this pace keeps increasing, if the vulnerable are protected, and then the, the net of the number of people who can come in keeps increasing, as well as the number of centers. I also want to highlight the fact that there's something very important and significant that we probably don't notice. But 97% of every parcel, every rural area, now has access to the vaccine. So the government's unique you know, public health policy, total coverage, uh, vulnerable first, all this has been a, a fantastic strategy. And I believe it's uh, clearly leading to business confidence from mm. India as well as across the world. Okay. Uh, Ms. Firodia, you are the founder and CEO of Kinetic Green Energy. Uh, I want to ask you this question because this is also from the report uh, on what are the constraints. And the top constraint that would, we could see highlighted is the rise in fuel and other commodity prices which could hurt the recovery. Do you feel that it's the need of the hour to have greater stability as far as these prices are concerned going forward? Certainly, certainly. Um, I think you bring out a very good point. Uh, there is certainly a feel good factor that we are seeing uh, because of uh, the stability that has come from the vaccine, the good feel good because of the budget and the overall initiatives taken by the government. Uh, but certainly there are certain concern areas uh, and the biggest one is the rising fuel cost uh, and also rising cost of the other input costs like uh, steel and plastic and other commodities. And if such inflationary trends continue, that could affect the demand growth, mm. which then could affect uh, the sl uh, which will slow down the economic recovery. So I think that the rising fuel cost has a snowballing effect on cost of material, on cost of business, on cost of transport, and also burns a hole in the uh, pocket of the common man. So there's a need to look at uh, this fuel cost increase and control it uh, so that there is no inflationary trend that would affect the recovery that we are certainly seeing in the economy today. That's right. Mr. Sharma, I want to come to you now as, uh, as the president and CEO of Panasonic India. Uh, clearly, uh, consumer demand is going to be of a, of, of a huge matter of concern for you and also a key driver of the economy. Now, if I look at this report, it also talks about weak demand during the pandemic. Do you see that changing now? Yes, yeah, Sanket. So I believe we have come a long way because this crisis hit us bang in the start of the summer season and for brands like us it was just onset of the upcoming summer season where you look forward to air conditioners and refrigerators to be proposed to the consumers mm. and the good sort of story is that uh, not only the pent-up demand is back but there are some clear consumer trends which are evolving and i believe one of uh, the trend which is coming up is that consumers are now preferring products which are helping them multitask and I think this is uh, a great uh, news for the industry yes. because consumers are now wanting to have products which are smarter, which are connected. And this is going to create an ecosystem mm. of uh, not only the manufacturing to start to happen in the country, but also the entire connected e ecosystem to evolve in the time to come. So I believe that uh, with low penetration rate of majority of products we deal into, I mean, just to quickly give you an example, for air conditioners, we have penetration of just about 5.5% of households in the country. Mm. There is a long way to go. And I think that is what we are now looking at unlocking the kind of potential we, we are currently sitting on. Mm. Okay. Mr. Shankar, I want to come back to you now. Uh, I can't help but notice uh, what this report also says on what the industry needs. It talks about improving ease of doing business, greater transparency and clarity in regulatory procedures, timelines and smooth approvals of licenses and projects, long-term incentives towards skill upgradation of employees. And then, you know, the, the cynic in me wonders uh, what really has improved it, because these were all the concerns that were, you know, industry always had. 
So a lot has improved. Uh, I, I think uh, you should rein in the cynic in you, because uh, <laughs> things are you know things cannot get uh, dramatically better overnight, especially in the light of the setback that we have had in the last 12 months. However, there are clear trends that are coming out. First and foremost, the message from the government, including the prime minister, is loud and clear that we are we are changing gears. There is there is a there is focus on industrial revival. There is focus on value creation and job creation, wealth creation, all of that. And uh, the government walked the talk with with a very very radical budget, where there have been clear and things like you know production link incentives, some of the other uh, uh, you know uh, sort of reform measures that the government has taken, including the highly controversial farm measure, farm reform measures that the government has taken, because those are all the right things for the industry to do. However, the it's it's not a silver bullet, and you, the job is not done, and that is what some of those concerns reflect. That you know the ease of doing business. India is not an easy place to do business. Part of it is 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 because of the structure of the country. You know the the the, the fact that states are really empowered, and for most industries to to operate and to to scale up, mm. both these central government policies and the state governments need to be aligned. And that's sometimes not easy, mm. and that needs to get better because without that, this ease of doing business cannot get get better. Then there are rules and laws which are a lot of which are still archaic. There is this whole official and bureaucratic mindset that needs to change, where you know because there shouldn't be a situation where the government has has gone much farther ahead, but the bureaucratic uh, infrastructure which which actually has to execute on all those uh, policies mm -hmm. if that doesn't move and if that doesn't you know get overhauled then uh, there'll be a slowdown and that is what those concerns reflect so mm -hmm. i would think sanket that your concerns are valid and you know and, and there is no reason to to feel that the job is done mm -hmm. but there is definitely an improvement okay you know, uh, Dr. Reddy, the thing is that, uh, and it is true for both economy as well as politics, they operate on perception, on, uh, you know, an environment, on emotion also sometimes, right? So do you feel that, uh, that that sort of an environment is now there for good, strong economic growth? So absolutely, Sanket, and uh, I think that was really the headline point, that 74% overall business confidence. We haven't seen this kind of positive sentiment in a decade. So that is really the highlight of the, the survey. But I think as all good business surveys, we need to go two to three levels deeper, and that's exactly what Fiki has done with this. Mm. We spoke out on the strong points, which was the positive budget, the, the pace of the the vaccination, we also called out the, the areas of concern. And there's one thing which I think we also must focus now on the positive steps which are being taken so that the pace of these positive steps enhance. And many of them have been mentioned, so I'm not going to repeat those. Mm. But I do want to call out one or two where we've spent a lot of time working. Ease of doing business, there's a significant initiative towards continuing the drive to digitalization. And this will help India's competitiveness. There's another very significant aspect on competitiveness, especially with the enhanced focus on manufacturing, and that is our entire logistics cost. So globally, most advanced countries, whether it's US, any of them, keep their cost of logistics uh, below 9, 10%. In India, it's 14%. So the government is focusing on enhanced connected freight corridors, manufacturing clusters, all these will enable a basic, a national infrastructure which will enhance competitiveness for the country. And the final one also, I think, the, the rate of FDI coming in, because to achieve that $5 trillion dream that all of us are very clear we have to do as a country, capital is important, uh, correct cost capital to all sectors that need it. And I think there are many initiatives across mm. the board that the government is doing towards this. Okay. Let's stay focused. Sure. Sure. Uh, my next question is to Ms. Firodia. Uh, Ms. Firodia, do you think do you, uh, uh, you can actually give us, as industry titans, and, and since you uh, take care of uh, Maharashtra, uh, you are chairman of the FIKI Maharashtra State Council, any time frame when this confidence among uh, industrialists or, or corporates can translate into action? See, right now it is confidence. 
confidence has to lead to something do you have a time frame in mind well, i think certainly uh, we are seeing a trend uh, where not only confidence has improved but there is also demand improvement um, of course one is still cautious because a lot of people are still uh, not sure about the continuing buoyancy in demand so it's important that the demand creation in, uh, measures are continued but more than 56% people feel that demand is going to continue to increase mm. so i think certainly businesses are looking at making investments more than 31% people are reporting increase in investment that they are planning to make sure. um, and i think if this feel good factor continues the vaccination drive continues uh, then people believe that investments will increase demand will increase and therefore there is certainly an expected increase in the business activity okay um, that one is anticipating okay so the confidence is resulting into demand and increased manufacturing activity investments and also hiring so i think there's an all along action that's also one is being if, seen not only at the conference index which is theoretical okay okay very quickly just want to sneak if in I can just quickly yeah. add to that yeah mr uday shankar if i can just quickly yeah. yeah if i could just quickly add to that 77% of the people who participated in the survey have seen that the capacity utilization is higher than 50%. Mm. That's a very significant number, you know, and it, that's been growing steadily. And 77%, you know, when when that number in our experience, when it gets to 75 to mm. 80%, that is when people start looking at fresh investment to to increase capacity and you know do capacity enhancement. Mm. Also. Pricing power, you know, it, that, that, that's not just mere confidence based on the inputs that business leaders are receiving in their companies. A lot of them, you know, are, are now saying that pricing power is coming back and which basically means that people okay. can can align their businesses in, in, in you know, uh, in tune with their profit objectives. And that those are two sure. really, uh, you know, objective signs. Okay. I have completely run out of time, but thank you so much uh, to all of you for joining us. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Sharma, Dr. Reddy, Mr. Shankar, as well as Ms. Virodia for joining us on this discussion. We're stopping for a short break at this moment. News continues on the other side. Stay with us.